his phone, and Life360 hasn't told me where he is. He's usually always home on time. And if he's not, he tells me why and where he is and what he's doing. I hate when this stuff happens. He knows better. I know he knows better. Ugh. My gosh. I hope he's okay. Uh. Why wouldn't he tell me? What is he even up to? Mm. I know he was out with his friends, and I sort of... I don't actually trust his friends, like, at all. But I, I have to trust him. That's, that's the thing. That's what we're working on. I have to trust him. I have to trust him. I have to trust him. Uh, oh wait, there's headlights. That's probably him. That sounds like his car. Um. Hmm. No, uh, that's that's definitely his car. <sighs> okay, and yeah, that's that's him getting out. Hey, babe. Where were you? Look, I, I don't... Yes. Yes, I am mad. I was worried. You're never home this late. And you always tell me if you're gonna be. Where were you? What were you doing? What? Uh, okay. No, I, I trust you, but honey... If you knew your phone was getting close to being dead, you need to tell me. Because what if something happened? What if you got in an accident and, and I didn't know? Or or you were in the hospital? Or, or worse. And I'm just here worrying about you. Worrying that maybe... <sighs> Look. Just... <sighs> Try and communicate next time, okay? I don't know if something's wrong. I, I don't know where you are. I, I don't know if you're okay. I know I'm a little overbearing sometimes, but I feel like a check-in every hour or so isn't too much to ask. Uh, okay, okay. <sighs> I know you apologized already, and I want to think that you meant it, but how you said it, it didn't come off like you actually had felt sorry about it. So if we could just take a minute to calm down, I would appreciate it if we talked about this just for five, ten minutes. Because to me, this is a little bit of a big deal. It may not be that way to you. But I would appreciate it if we just took a few minutes to communicate and get on the same page. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> yeah. I'm okay. And I'm happy to see that you are. I was just really worried, that's all. I care a lot about you, you know that. And it's okay that you were out with your friends. Maybe next time, you know, if something happens where you, you, f you know you're going to be home late because of traffic, like you said, 
or your phone died and you lost track of it or your friend needed help like you said then maybe you could have that friend you know just text me and let me know because your phone died and life 360 didn't tell me where you were and i only checked it because you were late i wasn't checking it to see where you were i mean i did once just to make sure i don't even know why but i was just you know maybe you were coming home early and if you were you know i would have made sure that dinner was ready but you said that you wouldn't be home for dinner and you were going to eat with your friends so i just i wanted to double check because if you were coming home early i would have left food out for you because you have you've done that before and i wanted to make sure i accommodated your needs and yeah anyway look if you know you're going to be a little late and your phone is going to die, could you at least have one of your friends shoot me a text and let me know? Please. I get anxious and worried, okay? And, and we've talked about why. And we're working on it together. It's, it's hard, but we're doing it. I mean, it's hard on my end. Because, well, you know why. But I promise, I am trying. But I was worried about you. I mean, anything could have happened. I just... <sighs> no, I didn't think that you were... I didn't think that you were cheating, okay? I just... <sighs> I didn't think you were cheating. You've gone to that place a couple times, and you've called and checked in with me regularly. I, I know you didn't this time, and it did bother me a smidge, but it wasn't enough to warrant a big reaction. It just wasn't the usual, and that sometimes apparently bothers me. I, I don't know why. I wish it didn't. Because I want to be better. And I trust the friends that you went out with. It's other people that I don't. And you hear horror stories all the time. Yes, I really do care about you. And, and I do trust that the friends you're with are going to take care of you. I mean that. Yeah. I just... I gotta make sure, you know? Yeah. Now, since your belly is full, um... I was worried because one, you were home late, and two, you didn't communicate that with me. And I know I may have came on a little aggressive when I, when you first got home, because I was upset, because I was scared, and that was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I should have given you a moment to explain and talk to you calmly. My emotions got the better of me, and I apologize. I didn't mean for it to come across negatively, or like I was assuming things. At least, assuming things about you. I was, you know, assuming that you were in danger, but I feel like that is a justified response. So, next time, could you please just have a friend check in with me, or let me know that your phone might die? And I think maybe something that you could do, or I could do, is, you know, if something happens again, I could call one of your friends. But I don't want to do that because I don't want it to seem like I'm overbearing or controlling. Because I know it can come off that way sometimes. 
I know I can be a little bit much. And I want you to have that freedom that you deserve. So I apologize. I forgive you. Yeah. No, no, I, I do. I, I forgive you. I know you didn't mean to worry me or anything, but... I forgive you. <sighs> huh? A, a hug? Yeah, I think a hug would be really... Really helpful, actually. Yeah, thank you. I know. I know you're sorry, and I said I forgive you. But do I know? No? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, honey. Sweetheart, you're gonna make me cry. Because I was so scared. And... I didn't want something to happen to you and I not know, or... Uh, I don't know, I mean, my cousin went out with his friends and... And his drink got spiked and he woke up in a dumpster in just his boxers. And I know it sounds like a crazy, dumb story that I'm making up, but it actually happened. And he didn't have anything. He had no memory of what happened. And his friends didn't have any idea either. But I know your friends are... Well, I can't judge him based off of his friends because I actually haven't met any of them. But I trust that your friends are better friends than his were. To not, you know, be there for him. So I just, I think about stuff like that happening, you know? And I get really scared. Because you're a great looking guy and... Although it is a majority of men who drug women, it happens to men too. And I don't want you to have to deal with that. Because he suffered. And he struggled a lot. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm okay. I just... I get scared. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. I just... I love you, and that's, that's why I react the way that I do, because I've heard of bad things, and I just don't want anything bad to happen to you, or us, for that matter, <laughs> or your friends, but you come before your friends. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would hope so, too. <sighs> Yeah, I'm feeling better. Thank you. I think, um... Yeah, I think laying down is a good idea. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, by the way, for the comfort. Plug your phone in, please. <laughs> you know I leave a charger in your car on purpose, right? It's not because I just forget it. So you can charge your phone if something happens. <laughs> Did you really not know that was why? <laughs> I thought I told you. Well, that's my fault then. I'm sorry. But now you know. So, no harm, no foul. <sighs> yeah, it just, it, it takes me a second, you know. Some deep breaths and relaxing, a little bit of that reassurance that everything's okay. But I'm, I'm good, yeah. I, you're here, I see that you're safe. Your friends are safe, I hope you were able to help. Good. Yeah. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. 
I love you. You and only you. I just might hold on to you a little extra tight tonight. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I figured you wouldn't mind. Let's, um, let's get some rest, yeah? 